Hello everybody. Got a lot of goodies here and I got a lot of stuff I want to go over with you. So um, I apologize. I know we were supposed to start the giveaway last Monday and we were supposed to be giving it away this week. Um, uh, we, we had a couple of rough hits at my house. Um, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, I've been working like triple shifts and then last week um, my daughter and my youngest son started back to school. I've been homeschooling them this whole time. Um, and unfortunately, Loki caught COVID. Um, she's she's fine, she's okay. Um, she's doing much better now, but she caught it like the second day back to school. So I've been kind of caught up with that and keeping everybody quarantined and separated and, you know, nursing everybody. So um, luckily everybody else is fine. She's doing much better now, um, but that's where I've been. And because we had to delay the giveaway, we are, today was, you know, this video was supposed to be where everybody could enter and then we'd pull a name, but since we've already waited, we're not going to do that. Um, I decided to go a different way with it just for today. And then um, next week's giveaway, you guys are going to enter on this video. Anyway, I'll explain all that. Uh, let's talk about what we have coming up. Um, I have two brushes that will be here tomorrow. I have the pink metallic, the new pink aluminum CADS brush. You guys know I'm a, I'm a fan of CADS, so they have a new brush that I hadn't seen yet that someone brought to my attention. I'm excited, so I ordered it. We're gonna check that out and see how it is. Um, also, there's a kinda, eh, it's a nice one on Amazon. Uh, it's called Gifnog, I believe. I don't, I, I'm probably saying that wrong, but this is what it looks like. Um, so I ordered that one. We're going to check it out. Someone in the comments had asked about it. Also, someone had requested that we check out the UV monomer from Mia Secret. So we're going to play with that this week. Uh, review it, see how it works. Is it worth it? Is the odorless worth the trouble? You know, the typical. Uh, this is what we're going to be giving away today. It is the Artemis from Melody Susie. It is their uh, kind of mid rechargeable drill, uh, the portable one. And of course we went with the pink. Um, this one is, it came with some bits, ceramic bits. It's, it's this one and it's so cute. I love the pink. It is so beefy. Like this one is 30,000 RPM. Uh, I've heard good things about it. Um, it was on sale. So we are going to be doing, we are going to be giving this away today. After we do the unboxing, we're gonna do the little spinny wheel, and then this is gonna to go to one of you guys. Um, and first, let me explain how we're gonna be doing this one, because it's a little different since it didn't really give everybody a chance to enter. Um, so, let's get this out of the way. All right, so let's put this over here for the time. So what I decided to do was take the last video that I recorded before my break, which was months and months ago, and then the first video when I recorded back and I took all the commenters off of those two videos and entered them into the wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and do our unboxing and then at the end, I will go ahead and announce the winner. So without further ado, let's, first let's look at the bits, okay? So the drill itself, I think, was $95, which is fairly inexpensive for a decent rechargeable drill. Um, for the bundle with this set of bits, it was like 103, I think, or 105. And you guys know how I love drill bits and my tools, so of course I went with that one. Um, and these are the tungsten bits, and they're the rainbow ones, so these are pretty cool. Okay, so we have the little polish or whatever that is. We have teeny tiny needle bits. This guy, I love the colors on these. They're so cute. Um, we have the coarse barrel bit. This one is not a safety bit. It's got the, the sharp edge on it, so careful with that one. Uh, we have the medium barrel bit. Actually, my first set of like decent bits, I believe was this set, <laughs> like I had it a while ago. Um, then we have the little football bit. These are super tiny. And then the cleaning brush, which if you guys don't know what these little brushes are for, 
Um, you put this in your drill and then you use it to clean the other bits. You turn it on and just, yeah. So it's, it's for cleaning. Anyway, it comes with a neat little holder. So that was part of the bundle and it came for like, uh, I want to say $8 more, but the bit set itself is like $20, I, I believe. So I got some new bits. I'm super happy. So this one is 35,000 RPM. Um, I went through and I was looking at the, the differences. Um, so I was going to get the Sparkle Pro. Um, there's the Sparkle Pro and the Sparkle Plus. The Sparkle Plus has a cordless motor. Sparkle Pro has a brushless motor. Um, this one, I believe, is just a, a regular motor, but it does have an extra, like, heavy-duty bearing in it. So, I love this, though. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So, I decided to go with this one. It was just a little over half the price. Um, it had the same RPMs, uh, a actually slightly longer battery life, I believe. Um, it came in rose gold, which I'm super stoked about. Um, it is super light. I mean, this thing probably weighs maybe six ounces, maybe. Uh, we got the little plastic belt loop. It's got the LED screen. Let me take that off of there. Ooh, I love peeling that stuff off um, for the first time. So let's take a look at the screen. So it came with some charge. So it does go up to 35. Th oh, it's fully charged. Look at that. Ah. Um, you got your forward and your reverse. This is where you plug in your handpiece. Um, this is the charging port. And this is for the uh, handpiece holster, which I will show you in just a second. So we have our instruction booklet. Moving on. So it came with a set of bits. I love the pink. Um, these are also finishing bits. Oh, let me open these up. Okay, that was ridiculously hard to open. Um, okay, so we got another one of those little stone polishing bits. We have our mandrel bit. I love this pink. Like, I just... I dig it. Ooh, we have a super spiky uh, needle bit. Love that. I love needle bits. They're so fun. We got another football bit. This one's slightly bigger. And this little teeny guy right here, this little teeny ceramic one, which just for reference, the usual ceramic barrel bits are slightly bigger, about twice the size. Ooh. I love the pink dust guard. Anyway, and there are some sanding bands in there. So those came with, let's see, what else? What else? All right, so we have the holster, or the, um, I guess, holster. This is the handpiece rest for when it's not in the holster, like when you're using it. Um, and we have the charging cord, pretty decent size. Okay. Let's see, but this one's already charged, so we don't really need that. And then we have our handpiece. The handpiece is the heart of... <laughs> what, what, what else was I going to do? Eat it? Sorry. I love the... I, I just like the, the box. So anyway, the handpiece is the heart of the drill. <clears throat> you, need to be, <laughs> you need to be able to, you know, hold it comfortably. And if you're like me and you have, like, arthritis, which I, I do... Um, the wrong handpiece can really kind of make or break you. Um, if if the handpiece is high vibration, um, it can cause a lot of pain in your hands. Um, when I was contracting, I had a lot of trouble with that, running um, circular saws or drills or whatever. Uh, the vibrations can make your hands just completely lock up, and if you have arthritis, and it can be pretty painful. So, so this goes here and you kind of click that down that way when you have it on your belt you can just stick your little your hand piece in there and then the charging power cord goes here first of all I love the rose gold it was either rose gold or black um, and for the price point uh, I really just I wanted to try this one um, 
I'm slowly moving up. You guys know I like my, you know, I love my Scarlet. It will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, but I've had a couple Melody Susie drills. I wanted to try McCart, and the price was really good. Uh, it was a good deal, so here we are. And our handpiece plugs in here. We got the forward and the reverse button. Now, this handpiece is pretty short, um, but it feels like a, like it's, it's very light. It's very light, and I'll be darned, it looks like it comes apart exactly like the Scarlet's handpiece, so easily repairable. All right, so bit lock, pretty smooth. This is just the placeholder so that this doesn't get damaged while in shipping. I never know what to do with these things afterward though. All right, so we're all plugged in. Now, that is how you use that, obviously. Um, oh, this thing is ridiculous. It's ridiculously hard to open. It took me like five minutes off camera to open it. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna be testing this bad boy out. And we all know how I test things out. So let's get this. Cause we're gonna drill through something. And then let me find one of mine. We are gonna drill something off. All right. One of the issues that I've seen with the rechargeable drills that run on a battery is when you apply pressure, they can slow down. A lot of them do if they're cheap or if the, the power isn't as strong, um, they will slow down when you apply pressure if you push too hard, which you're not supposed to do anyway, but you still want it to be able to take some force, right? You want it to be strong. So we are going to start with drilling through something. Yes. Excellent. All right, let's grab something to drill through. I'm excited, I'm very excited. I have wanted uh, one of the rechargeable ones for a while. So we're just gonna put this up here. Let's, we're gonna set it on forward. So this is 3000 RPM. Fairly low noise. I can't really feel any vibration at all. Just a little hum. fairly quiet. We get a buzz. Ooh, that is aggressive. Like I can feel the air coming out of it off the motor, like a fan. Anyway, so that's at 35,000. I still really don't feel much. I feel like a slight like a slight hum. It does have that high pitch noise, but it's not too bad. But the vibration is almost non-existent, which is kind of a big deal. Okay, so vibration was almost nothing. I'm not a huge fan of the noise, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't get really whiny until you get it really high up there. So now we are going to, um, any drill when you apply too much pressure is gonna stop, um, especially a battery powered one. Um, electric ones won't stop as much and that's where, you know, you run into problems, but battery ones will absolutely stop if you apply too much pressure. However, you need to be able to apply some pressure, otherwise you can't remove acrylic. So we want to see how much pressure before it stops and if I can actually work with it. So we're going to put it on 10,000 RPM. Go and we are going to attempt to drill through some stuff. A little closer. All right. So I'm pressing pretty good. Oh, yeah. So it went straight through like butter. It's still at 10,000 RPM. Oh, and it didn't stop. Went straight through. Okay. That's what I like to see. So now we are going to work on removing. Um, ooh, it melted some plastic on there. Uh, so I wanna see how well it removes at my normal speed that I work with, you know, if it's gonna take the pressure, if it's gonna lock up or, you know, show a lot of heat. So 
Let's get my purple tornado here and we are going to be removing one of my nails that's a mess. These nails are busted anyway, so they need to go. Um, let's see, we will go up to, where are we at? Let's go up to 10 to 13, which is usually what I work at. Right. So let's, I chip my nail. All right. Ooh, okay. So far, so good. So it's taking acrylic off with no problem at all. <laughs> Let's get a little closer. I want to see if I feel any heat as well, but. So it's not slowing down even a little when I put pressure on the acrylic. And that is at 11,000 RPM. It's not slowing at all. So yeah, I think this will work. Ah. Yeah, I think this is going to work, guys. And I love the color. Alright, let's see if we get any heat when we turn it up. Which, obviously, I'm going to get some heat. So I'm up to 19,000 RPM. Oh wow, cutting right through. Hmm. I'm not feeling any heat. So yeah, this is this is gonna work. Excellent. I love it. I'm in love. Absolutely. It is eating right through it. It's not slowing down. I'm not getting any heat off the handpiece at all. And it's actually super comfortable. Like, all right, let's turn that off. I made a mess. <laughs> it's pretty dusty. Okay. So, <sighs> you. All right, I've made a mess. I'm going to clean that up. Actually, we are going to go ahead and draw that name, and I'm going to clean up while we do that. But yeah, I, I think I'm in love. I am absolutely in love. The handpiece fits. It fits okay. Yeah, I like it. I love it. I'm in love. I love the color. I love, it's got really decent power, really low vibration. I'm not a fan of the noise, but I can live with that, you know? So yeah, all in all, I like it. And I will keep you guys updated on how it does over the next couple weeks. So now let's jump to that wheel. And I will show you guys the names and then we will let it rip. Okay, congratulations to Dana Thomas. Um, I will leave my email in the comments down below. Um, in the description box, please email me with your shipping information. I will get that sent out to you right away. Um, if you would like to be entered to win the Atina, which I will be drawing for next week, please drop an emoji or a comment in the comments section down below. And we will be giving that away next week. After that, we are going to be doing the other cordless battery drill. After that, we will be doing a, br uh, a uh, sable brush. Um, and I just, I got a couple other things planned. I'm really excited. As always, thank you so much for watching.